Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, episode number 343, Body Composition, the In-Body Machine. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about positive aging. Your hosts are Dr. Kathy Maupin, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging, and Brett Newcomb, a licensed professional counselor. Dr. Maupin and Brett are the authors of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about hormone replacement therapy for women, which is available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. If any of you are regular watchers of, of these podcasts, you will know that one of the things that Kathy emphasizes over and over and over and over again is the importance of the doctor-patient relationship and, and the ability to have time to have a conversation to find out how you're living your life, what your symptoms are, what's going on, where your stressors are, and what your medical needs are so that you can create a treatment plan that produces maximum results. And that involves a lot of background knowledge and information that she brings to the table and a lot of honesty and sharing and awareness that you bring to the table so that the two of you can create a treatment plan that's going to work for you. There is technology involved, however, that that is important, and some of it is pretty fascinating. And so we want to talk today about a specific subset of the technology. We've talked before about the lab results and the blood tests and how they use those and what they mean and, and where they factor into the treatment plan analysis. Today we want to talk about a new device, a relatively new device, called the InBody Machine. That's a company that produces this device. And we're going to break down what kinds of information that it provides and what and how they are useful in treatment creation and, and maintenance over time because they can track you. When you first come in uh, as a new patient, you do an in-body scan. We'll, we'll show you and tell you how that works and, and why it's done and what it provides. Uh, and then as you come in subsequently, every time you come in, you do another scan. It just takes a matter of a couple minutes. But they are able then to look at the graphic data that it generates and know things about how your treatment is working and about okay. your level of honesty. <laughs> right. But, but what we're really measuring yeah. is, is body composition. Yes. So, so this, whole, this whole thing is about looking at someone. I can't look at someone and know if they've got muscle. I mean, unless I strip them, but then again, most of my patients don't have to do anything like that. Well, my muscles are clad with a lot of fat, a lot of skin, and so you're not going to see them anyway. Well, and it's hard to look at someone and but know. I have a six pack under here somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. It's hard to know by looking at someone what their body composition is, right. but it's very important to know what your body composition is. That means how much fat do you have? How much muscle do you have? Do you have too much water in your body? Are you are you swollen? Do you have do you have fluid in your lower extremities? It also tell, tells us whether um, your bones are thick. But also talks to, it talks to me by looking at the results about whether your diet is what you say it is. <laughs> and met, busted. And yeah, I mean, I can. This is a um, a reliable way of checking your progress because. When we give testosterone, we uh, expect to build muscle. Now, that's we talk, talk to our patients about exercise, and usually our patients are already exercising, but build, building muscle with weights. Well, and the difference between aerobic uh, exercise and resistance mm -hmm. exercise for, right. for what it does, cardio versus muscle strength. Right. So uh, aerobic exercise is going to improve your heart. It is also going to slim you down and help you lose belly fat. Um, a resistance training with, with weights is going to give you more muscle and you'll build it faster when you're on testosterone. So I have this, the reason I got these machines, I have one in each office, is because patients would come in on their second visit when they see me and they'd say, I didn't lose any weight. Okay? Right. Well, it's, weight is just gravity. Okay? So I would look, I would then say, well, I'm going to take you over to this machine and we're going to start from here. And then next time you come in, we're going to do another body scan or a body composition test. And we're going to see what happens with your body fat and your muscle because with testosterone, if you're living a fairly healthy life and you're not over 
75, you're going to build muscle like crazy and you're going to lose fat, but your weight may not stay the same. I mean, the weight may stay the same. You may not lose weight. You're just trading fat for muscle. One of the guidelines you regularly offer is how are you clothes fitting? Mm -hmm. Not what do you weigh. If you get on a scale, does it tell you A, B, or C? But how are you close fitting? Are you, is your waist looser? Are your thighs uh, looser? Uh, is your chest looser? You know, what happens in the way your clothing fits? Well, this is just a sophisticated way show of that. showing that, to show yeah. like whether you have made progress in making muscle and losing fat. Because really, that's the most important. Because the more muscle you have, the faster your metabolism goes, and the more you can eat, or the less, or you can well, exercise less. And muscle is denser and heavier mm -hmm. than fat tissue. And compact. So a pound of fat's like that. Right. And a pound of muscle's like. It's like the old pound of like truckload of iron versus truckload of feathers. Yeah. You know, right. Analysis. Yeah. Right. It's it's a it's a very small volume when it's iron. Yeah. And the feathers are a bigger volume, so that's a good way to, of thinking about it. So now we're going to show. Um, Basically, you getting on the machine and how yeah. easy it is while we're while we're presenting. It's not frightening. It's easy. You just stand there and look stupid for about two <laughs> minutes and watch all the computers go crazy and give you numbers. It's working by electromagnetic uh, impedance. energy impedance. Yeah. So, basically, the hardest part is putting in your co your um, secret code so that you can remember it and go back and we can and it follows you by putting in your code or your ID number. We can. It draws a graph for you to see if your fat's going down and your muscles going up. In case you don't want to look at the whole printout, but we ha it does print out uh, an actual um, compilation of what exactly is going on in your body, and yeah. I can tell where you start and where you end by by looking at that. Well, and. Uh for your purposes, because it's upsetting to me. I, I get on this thing and I look at what it says, and the first thing that I see is it tells me my weight is out of line and I need to lose another 22 to 25 pounds of, of, of ugly something. Of fat, uh, but of not fat. muscle. Cause well, but that's all I see then. I don't see anymore, and I, and I go numb, and I'm frustrated because I've been working at this. I've been doing aerobic exercise and resistance exercise and watching about 65% of my diet. Uh, and I've made progress, but mm -hmm. I haven't made enough progress. Well, I mean, this is this weight is very. Your body has so much water in it. Like he has a um, hundred and thirteen point five pounds of water. I mean, that's a lot of water. So, I mean, if you're thinking you tell about them all wet, <laughs> yeah. So that's. I mean, the most of our body is water, and that's what it's it's supposed to be. It's in yeah. the cells. It's outside the cells that we consider. Uh, blood volume water. Right. So we call the intracellular water, the water that's in the cells, basically that's static for your size uh, or so somewhat static. And your extracellular water is swelling and fluid in your brain and, and subcutaneous fluid when you swell. So that's extracellular water. So we look at that, measure it in pounds by, by using this machine, and then we look at this is just the first four things that we look at. We look at lean mass, and that's muscle and bone, basically. Okay. Or all the protein in your body. So if you don't eat a high-protein diet, you're lean. You're never going to be able to make muscle. So when she says lean mass, she's talking about what's inside your body, not that you look like lean and trim and, and whatever. Right. Everybody has a lean mass number. Right. And the, and the reason that they identify that is to separate that, that out from the volume of water. Mm -hmm. that they have and mm -hmm. and slash fat right because we want to compare in this in this printout that we get we compare the lean body mass which is bone and muscle mm -hmm. with the fat mass mm -hmm. because that's really important we should have most of us in america have more fat than we need and less muscle and as we get older we tend to put on more fat and lose muscle so mm -hmm. that's Especially as we become more sedentary right Right, because yeah. if you're if you're not out, like I was raking um, mulch because we had a huge flood, <laughs> and all of my outdoor drains, the French drains were clogged, mm -hmm. so I had to go out and use a shovel and use a use a rake, and I came back in and I'm like, oh my god, I don't do physical labor like that every day. I mean, it, I was yeah. aching till the next day, and then I was fine, but 
but that's because we don't usually, I usually have guys that do that, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but that's the problem. We, we usually, as we get older, we figure out, we're smart. We figure out other ways to do things. Oh, so you can rent your lean body mass. Yes. I rent my lean body mass. <laughs> so, so when you're looking at your printout, if we're just following along there, you're going to see that your extracellular, intracellular water is added. Then they add the lean body mass, then they add the fat, and that's what your weight is. That's how much you weigh, and that's how it's made, how it is composed. So that's basically your composition. So then if we're going to look at um, the next analysis, we look at the muscle fat analysis, which is really important. This is what we look at the most. It, tr it travels through your body and... and and basically prints out what your, we know your weight, weight's easy, um, and then the lean body mass and against the, the body fat mass. So you see three lines, and, are, and then there's a, a normal, which means where you should be to be healthy for your weight. Mm -hmm. So in general, we want you between those two lines except for muscle. So you, hold, you stand on this machine and you have to step on it, as you've seen already, uh, carefully so that your heel is on the heel pad and your toes are on the toe pad. And you hold two wands in your arm with your straight hand arms. and thumbs uh, straight out away from your body. And the sensors go through the pads that you're touching, the metallic pads that you're touching, and they measure segments of your body. It's not one total snapshot picture. So they're able to get data then that will tell you about your legs, the size of your legs, and, and mm -hmm. uh, not diameter size, but how much muscle or fat is in your legs, in, your, in your arms, in your trunk. And so you can see where things are asynchronous. Like if mm -hmm. your right arm, if you're right-handed, should be a little bigger than your left arm. Mm -hmm. uh, your right leg should be a little bigger than your left leg. Uh, it'll show you that. It'll show you what the ratio is. It's not is. should, it's average. Most people are, but yeah, if typically. you notice that you're asymmetric, then you do more uh, free weights mm -hmm. with your left hand side and then they'll be equal. So basically when you're looking at this, while you're standing on the machine, you can see it scanning everything and you see the weight, the, the fat and the muscle mass. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of see it coming up. You don't see all the detail that we print out, right. but, but it's really interesting as people are watching their body fat go up and up and up and up and up, that's not you. Uh, and, and like, I didn't know I had that much basically. Mm -hmm. So they are, they are looking at this and saying, Oh, it's kind of like looking at a picture of your behind. Yeah. You always go, Oh my God, I didn't know well, I looked like that. That's what you recommend for swimsuit season. Yeah. Put a picture of the back of you in a swimsuit on the refrigerator. So it'll stop you when you go to the fridge. Right. And if it, if you have somebody take a picture of you in your underwear from the back, then you'll come in for eye lipo and get all that. Eye lipo is a laser that just dissolves it and you poop out your fat in these places back here. Mm -hmm. People would be prettier. Mm -hmm. So, um, so in the muscle fat analysis, we are looking at skeletal muscle, not your heart, but muscle that is holding your skeleton together. We're looking at your bones and the normal range for your heights cal calculated. If your muscle mass is low, it may be because you don't eat enough protein, and especially animal protein. Some people don't, but you have to eat a ton of vegan protein to get the same amount to build muscle. So it's hard if you're vegan to actually make muscle by eating vegetables. But you still have to try, but mo mostly... If you, if you talk to lifters, they're eating cheese and eggs and they're mm -hmm. eating meat and they're eating protein shakes with whey and um, milk products. And that really helps give them the building blocks of muscle. But it doesn't make muscle without testosterone. So the, the triad is testosterone, weight-bearing exercise, and proteins in your diet. All three. All three. Yes. Not just one. Right. So uh, basically, that's that's what we try to tell people. So, I don't care how high your your skeletal muscle goes. I just don't want your fat to go over normal or your weight to go over. So normal. when I come in to see you and we look at this and you're talking to me and you say, okay, what you just said, you <laughs> need to build more muscle mass, mm -hmm. uh, and so you eat proteins or cheese or eggs or what have you, mm -hmm. and I 
look confused and disconnect because I'm still obsessing about the weight. That's your Do, problem. Not everybody well, no, does. I, I, let, <laughs> let me finish my question. I go, oh, good. I can do this and this and this, and I'll be better. So my question is, do you have a diet that you recommend or that you can recommend? Is there, you have a, a diet program? I have, I have a diet that is in, um, on our website called mm -hmm. Dr. Moppin's Low Carb Diet. See? You eat six times a day. That's you're never call, hungry. That's what we call in the business a segue. You get to sell <laughs> one more thing. Right. Well, we aren't selling anything with that. We're just informing you because there's nothing to buy. Another service, though. Yeah, it's yeah, another it's service. A, yeah. And we also have a weight loss service, which we love this machine for the weight loss service. Right. Because we were... One of our patients came back four months after her first pellets, and she was on the weight loss program. She right. lost 34 pounds last wow. week. I mean, one of my nurse practitioners came in and yeah. said, "Are you? You can't believe this? We put her on the program." And I mean, it was yeah. amazing. Yeah. And she looked really good. And she but was very happy. But that's that whole comprehensive approach to making you feel better and be healthy. And so you're saying there's a triad where you have to have the the uh, protein consumption, the muscle mass, uh, and the exercise. Mm -hmm. All three mm -hmm. working together. So if I like, um, if we're, we're going to use this, mm -hmm. if we look at the next section that they print out for you, which is called the obesity analysis, it they print that out for everybody. They print it out for everyone. So your BMI is not a good way to measure whether you are fat or not. BMI is body mass index. Index. And, and all it does, weight, yeah, height. And weight and height, and you multiply it by a, I forget which, I, I, number, I yeah. have a computer or an app on my phone to do it, but yeah. it really doesn't tell me anything right? because all it's telling me is that somebody's heavier for their height. Now they could be heavy with muscle or they could be heavy with fat, right? but this doesn't tell me anything. It just for tells me gravity. Yeah. Right? For, their, for, for who they are. Age involved? Age, just... age is involved because usually our BMI goes up with age because we usually lose muscle and make fat, but... It usually does go so, up. So that sounds to me, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, as you always do, but that, that, <laughs> that's sort of like the uh, normal ranges for lab tests. Is right. Here's your age and your height and your total body mass put into a formula that will show you where you should be on the graph if you're normal. But we're comparing you to young, healthy normals on this. Yeah. Oh, not, okay. We're not comparing you to you somebody other old fat age. guys. Right. Okay. We're not doing that. Right. We're comparing you to the buff 18-year-old, too. So so that's good. So on, under obesity analysis, the most important part is percent body fat. That's the percent body fat that was like your body mass. Mm -hmm. It's a percent of your weight that is fat. So, so the normal range on this graph says percent body fat, uh, that the higher end of normal is 20, and mine is 24, 24 and a half. Mm -hmm. So i got to lose 4%. Percent of my body fat. Right. And so that's a pretty good way of looking at uh -huh. your weight because percent body fat, I, that doesn't really tell me what your muscle mass is, but at least tells me you need to lose fat. Well, when, when you look at the number for lean body mass, they're adding together uh, extracellular water and body fat mass, those two numbers, to get most of that. No. The lean body mass is just muscle. See, so, the so body, it comes body, over here. Yeah. There's the lean All body right. mass. You're adding lean body mass to water to get this. Oh, that's the dry. I'm sorry, dry yeah. body mass. Right, and body so mass. the right. body fat mass over here. It's kind of all by its its little self. It's all by itself. So right. out, of, out of my 204 pounds, I got 50 pounds of fat, and I and I, I don't want to lose it all. <laughs> I think it's up here. <laughs> well, your head, your brain, your, head, your brain fat. does have yeah, that. Two and a half, three pounds. You have of a it big is, head, is then brain. you know you yeah. got lots of brain. Fat head is not a pejorative term. <laughs> not always. No, it isn't. It just means you might have a lot of brain. So if I calculate, th say four pounds out, three pounds out for body for brain, then I'm like forty-seven pounds of fat yeah. that I need to can't lose convert the into muscle mass or lose. That's I mean, right. One or the other. I mean, and the, those are the mm -hmm. two options, right? That's right. Lose the weight. Or convert it into muscle mass, which is going to keep the weight, right. but make you have less fat and be smaller. And that's what I, that's basically what I look at when people come in. Now, in my office, this is so easy. After the first time, we have the instructions on the wall. You can just walk in anytime you want to and do your in body. Right. It takes a few minutes, just as long as we can scan it into the computer. Then you can leave. <laughs> so, so do the just, numbers automatically just go to the computer and be get added to your? We don't have that 
particular, uh, we are going to get that particular. So you print it out and hand it to the we front hand, desk? Yeah, and, okay. they, and they scan it. But, but you have to, so the rules on InBody, this may be really important for most of us. Yeah. You should come in the morning, if at all possible, but I use it all day long. But somebody um, could just stop by right. and, if they wanted to and mm -hmm. step on. And and as far as, like, you don't have to get undressed. You have to take your shoes and socks off mm -hmm. so that your feet are in contact with the foot pads. But you can wear your regular clothes. Uh, th there's a private area room. to take uh, off some of but, whatever you have but to. But you don't have to strip down to gym clothes or underwear or anything like that. Because all of us who are worried about losing those extra three or four pounds of fat want to take off all the clothes we can, make sure we've gone to the bathroom, work out. Well, that's the other thing. Yes. You have to go to the bath. You have to empty your bladder before you do this. You can't work out within 24 hours or will, will falsely actually elevate your weight, which is weird. Um, and so that you have to take off your belt or your phone or whatever else is hanging on you, yeah. you know, so, wallet. yeah, or your wallet, but yeah. you know, we have a place to put all that. So we, and we want you hydrated. So you have to drink plenty of water. So the, those are the rules to get the best measurement. Mm -hmm. And I tried this. I, I tested it one day. I didn't work out for two days mm -hmm. and then I tested it. Then I worked out that morning and tested it in the afternoon and I had gained body fat mm -hmm. and I had hardly eaten anything. So what it was, wasn't exactly body fat, but there was some action in my fat cells. So the following day, the third day, they were probably I, quivering with fear. Yeah, they were. <laughs> <laughs> so the third day I went back down lower than I was the first day. Yeah. So I just wanted to see what would happen with exercise. Right. So it's depressing. That's what happens with exercise. You you well, look heavier than you are. But the psychology but it, you of that really is if you get it. depressed, then you quit. Because yeah. you say, oh, this is not working for me. That's true. And so the advantage here is you can track a program over time. And you don't take a snapshot of one event, one day, and say, Oh, my diet's not working. The testosterone's not working. I can't lose weight. Uh, nothing is working because what, and, and you see this regularly, people mm -hmm. that come in and they have symptoms and they present and they get testosterone and they come back six months later, those symptoms are no longer there. They've forgotten about them. Right. They're like, well, there's nothing going on in my life. You know, I read, I, I watched Dr. So-and-so on TV and he <laughs> said I should be eating more tomatoes. So and I ate tomatoes the, and now I'm better. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Except... That every symptom that they had that testosterone fixes right. and weight loss fixes is better. And you track those and I every track time them. they come in. Right. So you can say, well, but remember when you had this problem? They're like, oh. Well, I ask them about um, arthritis all the time or, or aching joints. Yes. They go, I didn't have that. Or you, at, you, know, you ask them about, um, what was it? Fatigue. Oftentimes they go, I'm, I wasn't fatigued. Where'd you get that? Well, yeah. here's your handwriting. Right. You wrote it down. It's hard so to remember being you so tired. You forget things that are no longer present as complaints. Anyway, we're going to come back in another episode and talk about the rest of this uh, in-body and body composition machine and how it is utilized and why it's a good thing for you to know, especially in terms of being able to track over time the, the progress that you're making, not success or failure, but progress towards a goal. It's a, it's a fascinating piece of equipment when it's used right, uh, with a doctor visit that complements the data uh, acquisition, then it can really put you on the path to healthy aging. Thank you for watching. We have eight body types that we'll discuss that we can find by using this machine. So come back and, and listen to that. It's Here's very interesting. Yeah. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth. Find Brett Newcomb at brettnewcomb.com.